Hello everyone. Welcome to Epson service training class. I am a service engineer at Epson. N2 Plus product. This class is to bring you a demonstration of repairing 1515 pixels on the N2 Plus product. The repair tools include soldering iron, soldering wire, solder paste, flat nosed tweezers, long tipped tweezers, marker, anti-static bracelet, heat gun. Mark the bad pixel before repairing. We use tweezers to remove the masks. Attention here. This mask is very tight while removing the masks. We need to operate from both sides to avoid damaging the pixels. Okay, mask now is removed. Use our flat nose tweezers to clamp the bad pixel. Then twist it around. We can take off the bad pixel. After removing the bad pixels, use soldering iron and solder to clean the PCB trace first. Retain a little bit rosin on the PCB to ensure a better welding later. After cleaning the pad, dip the solder paste with tweezers. Fuse the solder paste on the pad. The reason to use solder paste is because that the melting point of solder paste is very low and it has better activity than solder wire. It's easier to ensure subsequent welding. At this moment, our PCB pad processing is done. Pick up a new pixel. Note. While putting the new pixel, we need to ensure the direction of the new pixel is consistent with the surrounding pixel. Then use the air gun to weld it from the front. Wind speed of heat gun need to be adjusted to be minimum. The temperature should be controlled within 280 Celsius degree. Then blow in the front. When we use tweezers to move the pixels, it moves back automatically. The welding is now completed. After five minutes of cooling, we can test the module. If there is bad pixel or lack of color or other issues, reweld will be needed. If red, green, blue, white, oblique scanning is normal, then we are good with the repair. The demonstration of 1515 pixels replacement method is now completed. Hope these steps were clear for you.